Hello and welcome to Quicken Mobile's review. On the right side you have the Eagle, on the left side you were just looking at the Air Hawk. Two power folding wheelchairs. Eagle's weight with batteries is 58, without batteries is approximately 50. Air Hawk's weight with batteries is 51 pounds, without batteries approximately 40. And for the first time we're going to get very in depth in this video and in addition to just showing you the functionality of the chair along with price points which, which we'll mention later on we're going to show you exactly how these chairs measure up so for the airhawk power folding wheelchair let's go ahead and get started with this one we take this tape measure we put it on the outside arm here and we position it over here and, and what, what do you say we're looking at about 22 to 23 inches 23 inches we'll call it and then if we go down here to the outside of the caster to the outside of the caster we're at a little bit over 23 inches with the Airhawk power folding wheelchair height let's take a look here 34 inches high is what it looks like approximately 32 and then well about 32 33 and if you lift the back of the chair up all approximates people I'm doing the best I can everybody can measure differently but according to what this says now right three feet right at the three feet mark as I mentioned both of these chairs are travel safe chairs and they fold up so with the Air Hawk as it was in the, in the beginning the, the model that holds up to 265 pounds in order to unfold it we need to Keep the joystick off when folding for safety I'm going to take this device right here which is actually the footrest I'm going to open it I'm going to lift the back handle it snaps right into place I'm going to start to unfold the chair like an accordion I'm going to get the actual cushion out something real important here now notice the chair might look open but it's not open it's ready to collapse there's a wire here in the back of the air hawk it's a tension wire there's two little levers underneath here that will unlatch when you pull this lever and that way you can get the chair all the way forward and look it's locked into place and then we can get the arms wrapped around the front of the chair get the actual cushion towards the back of the chair and this air hawk is a newer model air hawk there was a few upgrades that they made to air hawks one of the upgrades was the joystick connector is easier to use so very quickly it comes on comes off i just match the arrows on this joystick up that's all i do i see a black arrow a black arrow i match them it takes all the guesswork out of the joystick i screw it in and there we go it's done okay we'll get into a little bit more about how does this chair measure up starting from the bottom and working our way to the top let's take a look at the footrest and see how this footrest folds up it doesn't totally get out of the way here we take a look at the front of the footrest off the ground where are we were from my angle it looks like between four and five footrest width is about eleven and a half and then these two bars they're about fifteen inches and we go to the top of the seat and we're looking at about looking at about twenty inches right from the top of this cushion here and this cushion itself is close to three inches thick okay so we're looking at a total of about right around 20 right here the width of the cushion which is very important taking a look at about 15 and a quarter inches wide but most importantly the seating area which is a different picture than the cushion the space in between the armrest is about 19 inches or 19 and a half inches depending on where you measure with the air hall. The space in between the arms. A couple things we'll point out about this chair as well. This chair holds up to 265 pounds. You can see when I push down on the arms, you can take a look here and you can see more give in the frame. So right away we know if you're the type of person who needs to rely on bearing down a lot with this chair you should probably consider a different model like the Eagle but the Airhawk for somebody who is under 265 pounds who has the ability or capacity to use the arms that rotate behind the chair 
to do a side dismount if they're not able to on the front because the footrest folds up. Some people, of course, have told us that they've taken a, an actual screw out and turned it around, but you still have in front of your legs, let's take a look, we have about seven to eight inches of space right here that you wouldn't have anything you basically need to have that clear. In seven to eight inches, the Airhawk does have a little bit larger of a basket than the Eagle. And as you can see by my actions right now with this chair, the chair itself is in freewheel mode. And if we give it a spin, the Airhawk has a great turning radius and it's very easy to maneuver. Everything that it's able to do in freewheel from a, a perspective of motion, you can create those same patterns with the actual joystick and power mode. You have two wheels here. These are used dual purpose. They're used for anti-tip and as a kickstand. And those are about 13 inches apart. And then you have, which is about 19 inches apart from the outside of this motor to the outside of this motor, 280 watt motors. And of course, we can turn this chair by pulling these switches into a power chair with the eight inch wheels. These wheels are eight inches across. So if I turn the chair on on the joystick and I rotate the chair around, nice and easy here. There's a couple other improvements that I would like to point out with the Airhawk in the contrast video. And one of those improvements is, let's take a look at the casters here. These casters are now reinforced there's an added bar and it's a little bit thicker of a grade of metal that's now used in the caster. So they've given the Airhawk a bit more muscle. Let me take a look at the Eagle over here, chair that holds up to 400 pounds and the casters look very similar. So before we move on to the Eagle, we'll do a couple more measurements with the Airhawk. The depth of the chair here is about 15 and a half and the height of the chair here we take a look at about 16 and a half, close to 17 inches from here. And the handlebar, we're probably looking at about 20 inches from the seat to the top of the handlebar. And if we go in the back, one more measurement, all the way down to the ground, we're looking at about 35 and a half inches to the top of, of this handlebar. So that's how Based on what we did today, the Airhawk moves and folds up. We're going to actually fold it up here before we get it out of the way to demonstrate the Eagle. So the first thing I'm going to do with this chair is I'm going to remove the joystick. I just want to save myself the trouble of having to screw this in all the way. So no more than is necessary. I'll get that out of the way. Put it back in freewheel mode. I'm going to unlock the seat. I'm going to move the chairs arms above the chair, going to lift the chair like an accordion, going to drop the pillow right underneath the seat in the storage compartment so I can get these wheels to, to fold with a tighter fit. And I'm just going to collapse it just like that. Wheels beside the frame. This opens up, protects the, the top of the chair, and I'm wheeling it right out of the way. So that's the Airhawk Power Folding Wheelchair. The Eagle, which we're going to focus on next, take a, a couple basic looks. The depths of this chair folded up to the bottom of the frame is 17 and a half inches and that compresses so that gets as narrow as about 13 inches. We have the arms here outside of the arm to outside of the arm or middle of the arm to outside of the arm we have about 22 inches and from the outside of the caster to the outside of the caster we have 21 and a half and that's just for the outside of the the base. We've got a little bit of extra space so we can go ahead and unlatch the chair or open the chair here. Of course, safety first. We're just going to latch it into place now it's locked. Put that little footrest down and we'll do the exact same thing. We'll start from the bottom of the chair and work our way all the way up. Footrest here. We're looking at about six inches off the ground and footrest which doubles up as a handlebar if you're dragging this through the airport in freewheel mode, fold it up. You're looking at about 13 inches of depth and if we measure from this bar right here, we're looking at about 11 inches of depth. 
footrests actually fold totally flush to the chair itself so for a person who needs that extra space this is a great option and if we take a look here from the outside of the wheel to the outside of the wheel we're at 22 inches batteries are in the handles of course the batteries fold right out and let's work our way up to the width of the seat where we are at 17 and a half inches wide across and then we're at about 18 and a half to 19 inches wide across in the seating area. Which brings me to a point that I would like to address very quickly about the Eagle and as far as width. The chair holds up to 400 pounds. The chair has no problem with weight limits up to 400 pounds. We would suggest measuring your hips first before getting into the chair and understanding that if you're not comfortable in about 19 inch area, you will still be able to probably fit in the chair and I say probably not definitely and you have these two bars right here one on either side that would just cut into the hips a little bit or make things uncomfortable so we do have the Electra 7 folding power wheelchair exactly the same as the Eagle 21 inches of space we're focusing on the Eagle so to get back to the demonstration and of course I feel full disclosure keeps everybody happy you have a difficult enough time shopping on the internet you shouldn't have to worry about what specifically am I getting we're showing you the numbers we have 16 inches of width across the back of the seat and if we stack it up here we've got about 17 and then 21 to the top of the actual pad where you would push the chair from take a look here the top of the arms to the ground we have about 27 and each armrest itself is about 12 and a half inches long which is the same as the air hawk from the back of the chair here to the actual joystick pin about 17 and a half inches and of course the differences here primarily are we have 12 inch rear wheels no inner tubes here unpoppable we have the splash guards we have the Dura shocks or durability shocks to allow you to unfold the chair and actually have the frame absorb the the energy from the ground. We have two 250 watt motors and they both have the ability to instantly lock into place and turn the Eagle into a power folding wheelchair. Wait till the chair is actually activated and there you go. So we've gone over a couple chairs here. We have many more review videos on our channel. For additional information, please feel welcome to visit quickandmobile.com. You can look in the description page of this video for hyperlinks to the specific pages in our website. We feel welcome to address comments if you just leave them below.